Taking care of our teeth and gums is vital to our overall health. But for many hardworking families in Greater Victoria, dental care is simply not affordable, which is why this organization is making such a huge difference. Veronica Cooper explains. Hi. Hi, Kai. Nice to see you. Heather Burkett welcomes another family to ORCA. ORCA stands for Oral Care for Children and Adolescents. So we uh, help children from birth right up to 19 years of age. We are a nonprofit. We're designed to help children coming from families whose family income is less than $40,000 a year. Well, that's what we're looking for is happy kids and healthy kids, right? In a portable donated by the Saanich School District, Orca sees about 400 patients a year performing more than a thousand treatments. We're going to walk together. There you go. Yeah. The dream of opening this clinic Sit in the chair. was envisioned by both Burkett and Dr. Mitra Hashimi. We need strong kids. We need strong people in community and that is start from childhood. It's been big, big, big for me. In here, we're trying to make a difference for these type of kids that they don't have an easy access to a dental care. Look at that, how shiny these beautiful teeth are. We started in 2011. We opened officially, although we had been seeing some patients before this in 2013. Our first two years, the average number of cavities per child was eight. It's amazing how many uh, diseases can come from lack of dental care, well over 200. So it's, it's critically important. So this is how you're going to do your brushing at home now. We all understand that it's difficult to find family dentists or family uh, doctors here and you know, they, 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 they've enabled us to, to, to have fantastic work, um, which we wouldn't be able to get anywhere else. Just have a seat right there. We started initially with all volunteers, and what we found is in order to get the, some of the consistency, we now do have a couple of our dentists, for instance, that we pay uh, basically half price on a locum. So they actually are volunteering half their time as well. Great, we'll just have a quick look around. And it's all about trying to get the I best possible service for our, our patients. You're just going to give your teeth a little polish today. Now the Victoria Foundation hopes to increase access to dental services for vulnerable sure. residents of Greater Victoria with 646. Making them all nice and shiny clean. An initiative from Green Shield Canada. Six million dollars for six Canadian communities with 700,000 allocated to the Victoria Foundation. Here. Oral health is part of our well-being, and if you look at populations where there are barriers, if they require dental care, that takes some real expertise, and it's very expensive. I don't think we'll have any problem filling this grant amount because there is such a need in the community. The Victoria Foundation is accepting grant applications until August 5th. Vital People is brought to you in part by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.